Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for leaving my girlfriend at the bar after finding out she spoke to her ex. My significant other has mentioned that her previous partner caused her trauma and left her with significant trust issues due to his unfaithfulness and the way she discovered it. He had been involved with multiple other individuals and she only became aware of it when one of the women contacted her. He then entered into a relationship with the woman who reached out to her the day after their breakup. As a result, I have had to address many trust issues. Due to this, despite being together for five months, we have not been intimate, as she wants to ensure that I am not solely interested in that aspect and is cautious about her choice of partners. I have also willingly allowed her to go through my phone multiple times in order to reassure her. Sometimes she doesn't even ask, I just offer when I sense her concerns because I have nothing to hide and want her to feel secure. I, 21, was at a bar with my girlfriend, 20 Twaf, enjoying ourselves in conversation. Suddenly, she seemed distant and preoccupied. I inquired about it, and she revealed that her ex had just entered the bar. I asked if she wanted to leave, but she declined, expressing her curiosity about his presence in the area, considering that he lives around 30 miles away. We observed him standing at the bar for a few minutes. Just as I was about to suggest we stop watching him, a young woman walked in, greeted him with a hug, and they ordered drinks together. They then linked arms and proceeded to a table around the corner. My girlfriend appeared very upset, and it seemed like she was about to cry. I asked her if she was okay, or if something had triggered her, and she insisted that she was fine. I then asked if the person she saw was one of the girls he cheated with, and she confirmed it was not. We sat in silence for about five minutes, and then my girlfriend expressed her desire to go and talk to him. I suggested that it's better to leave the past in the past, but she kept insisting that I didn't understand. Feeling frustrated, I asked her what there was to understand, and she became angry and started ranting about how he's full of lies, etc. I responded by saying she already knew that, to which she replied that he had been claiming he only wanted her in other things, and now he was with someone else. I'm confused, and say that she can't expect him to stay single forever after their breakup, and even she has moved on. That's when she says that he was saying this to her earlier that week. This is like a gut punch, and I ask what the fuck she means. She then told me that he had messaged her on Instagram asking for another chance, but she said no. I asked why she didn't tell me, and she said it was because she said no and that it wasn't important. I asked to see the messages, and she said no and started talking about privacy, etc. I reminded her that she had gone through my phone multiple times, and that I wanted to see it. She says no again. I say if she doesn't show me, I'll assume the worst, and she reluctantly gives me her phone. I read their messages, and it is sort of like she says, except they were talking for hours over the course of like three days and even had two phone calls, which were over half an hour long each. He tells her that he broke up with the girl he had cheated with because he wanted her back. She keeps saying no, that it's too late, and that she has a boyfriend, but for some reason, the conversation doesn't end. They just go on and on. He's telling her about how he left his toxic job, where the girls always spoke badly about her, how he cut off all his friends who said she was no good for him, etc. She is saying she doesn't believe him, and that she can't trust him. The last few messages are one of the calls, which is a 37-minute call over Instagram. After that call he says, I'll leave you alone now, it was so nice hearing your voice again, and I want you to know I'm serious, I don't want anyone but you, I understand you're not in a place where you want to try again right now, but just know I'll wait as long as it takes, if you need anything, just call me. She just replied saying, thank you. I screenshot the convo and send it to myself, because I want to go back over it when I'm not drunk. I asked my girlfriend why she didn't tell me, and she just said again that it wasn't a big deal. I said to her that it seemed like a big deal, considering they were talking for hours and having long phone calls. She says that she was just seeking closure and finally standing up for herself, as she didn't get to in the relationship. I asked why the conversation had to spend multiple days and hours, and she said, because there was a lot to talk about. I asked her what was said on the phone calls, and she said the same thing as in the texts. She said, there's no way you're mad about this, and I just got up and walked off, and she didn't follow me. She just let me go. I called an Uber home and left her at the bar. She blew up at me for abandoning her, and said she thought I just needed to cool off. We have been arguing since the weekend about this. She says it's unsafe and reckless to leave a girl drunk alone in a bar at night, and that I'm overreacting. I say she lied to me, and she says she didn't lie. She just didn't think I'd care. Am I wrong here? So, this morning, I woke up early and couldn't get back to sleep. Today is my girlfriend's day off, and I asked her to come see me as soon as she woke up. She said no. 
I said if she didn't, we'd have to end things. She got here about 9 am. I asked for her phone, and this almost started another argument. I think she could see my lack of sleep slash genuine attitude of defeat and just rolled her eyes and handed it to me. She is still talking to him. She texted him that night, saying she saw him and calling him a liar. He said he was just with people from his new job and sent back a picture of him with a big group of girls and boys. He assured her he still only wants her. She apologized to him. Funny, no one else came in when I was still there. So he just happened to meet the hot girl from work alone first and drink and sit with just her for 45 minutes at least before anyone else joined them. After she got off the phone with me after her argument that night, she asked if she could call him. Two-hour phone call. Sunday, a four-hour phone call from 9 and 1 p.m. Monday, there will be a call from 6 to 8 p.m. Then, last night, there was a video call from 8 p.m. to 2 m. This means that while I was typing this, she was on FaceTime with him. For six fucking hours. And in between all of this, sending each other memes, talking about old dates they went on, and a bunch of inside jokes, which I don't care to know the reference for. Etc. She couldn't even look me in the eye. I said I had a few questions, and she just said to me, is there any point? I said yes, and to me, there is. I asked her if she still had feelings for him. She said she didn't think she did, but now she isn't sure. I asked her why she didn't just end it with me. Again, she says she didn't want to unless she was sure. I asked her if the reason she hadn't slept with me was because she was saving herself for him, something a few of you suggested, and she basically fucking admitted it. She said, on some level, it still felt like she was cheating on him. She said her therapist said that sleeping with anyone before she was absolutely ready would be harmful to her, and them, and that she didn't want to hurt anyone. I tell her I can't. I can't be with her, as she is not ready, certainly not over him. She has lied to me, and I see what she has done as cheating. She just said okay. She walked into my toilet and made a phone call. When she got back, I helped her get together the things she had here, and then we sat and waited for her ride. It was awkward. When she went to leave, I tried to hug her goodbye, but she just said, please don't touch me, and dodged it. She just looked really defeated. She went outside and wouldn't, you know, her ex was waiting for her. He took her two bags, put them in the boot, and they drove off. I went to message her asking if she was fucking serious, but I was already blocked. You were all right. I'm a fucking idiot and feel like a loser for wasting these last five months trying to be patient and kind, and understanding just to get it thrown back in my face. Gonna to try and lay down and get some more sleep. I don't really want to deal with this anymore. Sorry for wasting all of your time. Thanks for the advice though. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.